so much is where is Josh? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie, also known as Fit Susie, and um, today I'm gonna talk about something that you guys have been asking for so long already, and I feel like I have to say something because um, she's mess are being made, and then uh, I don't want things to be you know, all over the place. Um, it's not something easy to talk about, but I feel like I have to say something at least. Um, if you don't know who Josh is, and it's your first video here, that was my best friend for a long time and boyfriend. And you guys haven't seen him around for I think around a while, maybe like over a month. And everyone's asking, where is he? Why is he not in your videos anymore? I'm usually a person that likes to share a lot with you guys. I've shared him since, since the beginning, like when we started, when we met, when he, when we were friends, when he asked me to be his girlfriend, all our relationship. I don't obviously show you every single thing that happens, but you guys see a lot. He would be in my vlogs all the time and making videos with me. And it's getting crazy and out of control how much you ask for him. You guys you guys found out really quick you guys figured it out really quick and i didn't really have to say much um so i know you guys are curious like what happened where is he well um where do i even start i'm gonna start by saying that i don't even know what to say i'm just gonna i haven't i haven't thought about what i'm gonna say i'm just gonna say whatever comes out um you guys know i'm very honest and i don't sugarcoat things or i don't tell you guys things that are not true I'm a really honest person, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of what's going on. So, basically, we don't hate each other. We're not together, but we're not, like, not talking. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, we did move in for, like, six, not like a year we moved in. A lot of things change. Um, stress makes a lot of things change. And we realized that our relationship was changing and not in a good way um, and it was not because of us it was mostly because of stress um, it's, I don't need, I don't know I don't want to blame anything or anyone but you guys know he started his own business um, I'm always super busy with a job and then training and then a bunch of things going on in my life we both became super busy and obviously stress got to us and it's totally normal but I don't feel like we knew how to manage it and how to not take our stress on each other, which is normal in relationships. Um, our relationship was super beautiful. I'm not gonna say it wasn't. I mean, you guys saw everything. Everything I showed you guys was the truth. Of course, you guys are not gonna see our fights, our disagreements, or everything. You're not gonna see all of that. And that's for most couples. So whenever someone feels bad because they don't have this person or relationship, you only see what they want you to see you don't see everything that happens behind doors that's like in between the couple not even like family members know it's just you and the person and that that that's how obviously you, you're gonna want to show the best so josh isn't a bad person he's actually an amazing person and i love him and he loves me we love each other and but it's just not the time to be together we noticed that it was too stressful and we were hurting each other more than making each other happy um so we decided to keep things as peaceful as possible um we see each other and we enjoy each other so much and our relationship became so much better once we split it or once we don't live together anymore we realized that we really love each other and we don't want to be with each other and this time that we haven't been together we appreciate each other more we changed completely our way of talking to each other basically we started like if we were just dating and that's really what i wanted because i mean every girl wants that i feel like when you or every goal, guy and girl i'm not gonna say just girls i feel like when you're in a long relationship things naturally start to change because you get comfortable like you know the person for a while you know everything like everything becomes a routine and that's something that we need to learn how to stop and not be, let it become like a routine, a habit, like not forget little details. Um, you guys have seen that he would do so much for me, cook for me, everything. But there's certain things that we wouldn't agree in and that happens when you move in together. A lot of things change. But they say the first year of marriage is hard because once you get to know the person in a totally different level. So yeah, it's like a, you have to overcome that because it's hard. Um, we're not married, but we decided to try it out. A lot of people say 
there's a lot of controversy if you should move in together before marriage or you should wait obviously the right thing to do is wait you know before you got to get married and then move in together but a lot of people say that it's better to move in together before you marry the person because you don't know how they are and you need to know that side of them i'm sweating my makeup off already i feel like it's whatever you choose like you're gonna learn either way and um it's it's all a matter of like talking things through um realizing what bothers the other person what bothers you how can we fix this to make it work out to meet in the middle you're not going to change anyone that's not what it, it, this is about you have to learn how to not change but try and avoid certain things to make your partner happy like that's your partner that's who you're going to live with that's who you're with all the time it's best to be in peace but there's sometimes that it just there's too much going on you just have to go your own way and what happens happens that's basically where we're at right now whatever god wants to happen next that's what's gonna happen we're not gonna push anything or we're not gonna force anything and only time will tell what's gonna happen we might not be for each other and that's really what we wanted but god has different plans and everything happens for a reason and we can't force something to happen just because we thought this is allowing my life this is who i'm gonna marry this is the father of my kids something they want something so bad <clears throat> but god says hold on this is not what i want for you but i don't know you know i don't know what's gonna happen only god knows all i know right now we are in really 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 good terms um i feel like this break was needed it's not really a break it, this was needed this separation was needed because we were together so so much even though i would be at work most of the time he would be doing his things but me coming stressed and then him being his stress and then me stressing him out it's just it, it becomes so much i'm not gonna say i am perfect i have so much to work in and he knows that and i need time to heal from things in the past that you know sometimes we make people pay for things that they didn't do to you but it's a lot of mental health I have to fix a lot of things mentally emotionally and if I have him there constantly you know having we're having issues like constantly it's gonna be hard for me to change or to heal that's why you guys haven't seen him in my stories or like in my youtube um because we're trying to give each other time and we're trying to figure out what's gonna happen um like i said only god knows what's our plan and i know you guys love us together and he's amazing he's super funny and um we support each other i don't know if you saw my story because somebody was making up a, a, a rumor that he got somebody pregnant and that he cheated on me and stuff like that it was from a tiktok that i made i'm gonna link it below and they got the, the they got the message super like backwards so um no he didn't cheat on me or he didn't have a child with somebody else or he's not having a child with somebody else um but um also a lot of weird things started happening towards the end of us being together like it was just creepy um for example there were like worms coming from the carpet like a lot of white worms my apartment is clean like super clean i clean often i bleach a lot of things i don't know why there was some um gusanos coming from the carpet i know that's not a good thing or a good sign um and we would just fight for nothing literally we would feel so stupid at the end of the, at the end of the day like why are we fighting for this stupid thing but it's something that you can't really avoid for more than you want to try and not fight and not this and not that it's it was just hard so i feel like somebody mess is trying to mess with us or doesn't want us together and because we question each other why are we like this why is this happening why did our relationship change like that like why and i feel like i don't know i just have a feeling that somebody doesn't want us together and they're doing some type of witchcraft i mean i don't know but people are crazy out there and we don't know what they're doing and i don't know just bad vibes sending they're probably sending us like super bad vibes it's just a really bad feeling when we're together like some bad vibe i don't know i don't know how to explain it but yeah it's just super weird i don't know what that is i don't know what that means i know we have to get closer to god and ask him to help us and to you know guide us through the correct path and overcome this because this could be one of the many 
obstacles that we're gonna experience in our life and i know we're gonna get through it and like i said only god knows what's gonna happen after this only god knows if we're coming back together or it's that's it but yeah um if you see him randomly in my stories and you know i don't know but yeah we love each other and we respect each other more than ever and yeah i don't know uh, so thank you for your time i know this was a little short and um if you're going through stuff like this give yourself time um if they love you they're gonna give you all the time you need i mean not all the time you need, you need right they're not gonna like you're not gonna have them waiting for a long time but talk things through it's important to talk things through to communication is key if something's bothering you let the person know i mean obviously not in a bad way yelling but talk to them and let them know you know what this is bothering me you're forgetting to do this like i don't feel loved i don't feel this i don't feel respected if that person loves you they're gonna understand they're not gonna get offended by you telling them how you feel so just relationships are hard it's a job you have to work on it every single day not only the guy don't expect for the guy to do everything to buy flowers to take you to do this to do that women have to also do their part and you know spoil men a little bit sometimes remember that life is short and we should take advantage of that we're here trying to make every day a good day and may and show people that we love that we love them because we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow and we might regret a lot of things so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys got my message and stopped asking for him because literally i post a picture of myself and everyone's asking where's josh i'm like um can you compliment me like so yeah guys i know you guys love him and you guys love me and we, you guys love us together but again pray for us and um it shall get fixed if that's what god wants i'll see you guys later thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and yeah i hope you guys also like my new intro um my little fall intro well, thank you guys again i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video but please don't forget to do what's right and what's easy bye